All right, so today we are looking at fungi. All right, we're going to do a fungi lab. So you guys have been talking about the six kingdoms, and what we're going to do today is look at one of them, the fungi kingdom. Why? Because you probably don't know a ton about fungi. You probably know about mushrooms, but could you tell me how a fungi differs from a plant? Well, hopefully after the notes and that article, you guys can tell me the differences, but we're going to look at some of the different parts of a fungi. Okay, so first of all, this yellow sheet says fungi lab. Probably can't tell that it's very yellow on this uh, video recording, but this is your instruction sheet. It's going to tell you what to do. This sheet that has the circles on it, all right, is going to be your sheet that you're going to draw on. Now, remember, when we're drawing pictures, okay, I don't want chicken scratch, I don't want a couple of lines or dots, right? You need to be detailed. I don't care if you're a good artist. You don't have to be a good artist. You just have to put in effort to show me that you can draw some of these things, even though they're not hard, okay? So the first thing you're going to do on this instruction sheet here, it says, look at the mushroom under the dissecting scope. So we've used microscopes like this before, okay? This should be familiar. You guys should have seen this microscope and used it before. Today, for the first part, we're going to use a dissecting microscope. So if you look at these two, all right, what are some of the differences between these two microscopes? I'll hold them up close here. What are the differences that you see? So here, I'll kind of turn them around. Well, for one, all right, this dissecting scope right here does not have a platform. It doesn't have that stage, remember, where we hold a slide. Okay, instead it just has this spot right here where you're going to put stuff on to look at. Also, notice this guy has three objectives or three lenses. This guy doesn't have three of them, it just has one inside of here. And the other big difference a lot of people say, oh, well, this one has two eyepieces. Yes, it does have two eyepieces, whereas this guy only has one. But the light, okay, so in this one, the light, I don't have it turned on, but the light's going to shoot down. In this one, the light shoots up, okay? So what would happen if we put a big mushroom on top of here is it would block all this light. We just see a big black spot. That's why we can't use this one for a mushroom. We could use it for a really thin slice of mushroom that could still let some light through. So that's why we gotta use this one. This is a dissecting scope. It can give us a 3D picture of what we're seeing because the light is shining on top of it, not below it. Now. How do we use a dissecting scope? Well, same way as we would use the regular microscope. So we have the eyepieces up here. You can move them together or apart to fit your eyes. You're just gonna put whatever you're looking at down here at the bottom, okay? Um, you'll notice at the side here, there are two magnifications. So you can switch this little thing to be either really magnified or kind of magnified. Now, the drawback here is because we're looking at a 3D image, this isn't as powerful as this microscope, okay? But we're still going to get to see some pretty cool things. So again, here is how you focus it, okay? We don't have two focusing knobs. We just have this big one here. So you're going to focus it until you see the gills. So what are the gills of the mushroom? Well, if you look at this diagram here, the gills are underneath the mushroom, okay? So the gills are the little, um, they're all the lines underneath the mushroom. If I had a mushroom here, I would show you. It's on the underside of the mushroom. And those gills help hold the spores. So remember, fungi don't reproduce using pollen like plants. They have little spores, and the spores are kind of like pollen, but not quite, all right? So those little spores, you won't be able to see them in the gills, but they're there. They're deep inside the gills. All right, so you're going to draw a picture of the gills in this first box here, all right? Um, and just remember, be detailed, okay? The gills are kind of tricky because they look pretty boring. Um, well, they look really cool, but they're kind of hard to draw. So next up, it says mold, three types, okay? So what you're going to do is you are going to find the box that says mold, three types, okay? These are slides. Notice. There are three different types of mold on here. You probably can't see it very well, but there's three dots on here. 
all right? So there's three different types that you can look at. In your direction sheet, it says you're going to look for the sporangia. So it has a picture of what these sporangia look like. They're right here. These sporangia make spores, okay? So if you don't see them very well, some of my kids were like, ah, oh, Miss Frankson, I only see like a red blob. Well, move it around. There's three types of mold on here. I don't care which one you draw, but you need to try to find some things that look like this, okay? And they're gonna be all on top of each other. So you're gonna see lots of lines and lots of dots. Okay, now for the third one, yeast. This one is kind of hard to find. So yeast is a type of fungi. Yeast is responsible for helping us make bread, um, beer, all right, lots of different things. Now, if you look at this slide, it's not gonna look like there's anything on it, okay? But I promise you, there is. So if you hold it up to a white piece of paper, I'm gonna see if I can get this on here. There's a little dark spot on there. All right, you'll just have to take my word for it because this camera isn't picking it up. But hold it up to a white piece of paper, find out where that dark spot is on the slide and line that up, okay? What you should see are a whole bunch of little dots. These are yeast cells, okay? Those cells that help make um, bread and all of those other things. And the last one you're gonna look at is going to be Kaziza apothecum, all right? So this is a cup fungi. What the heck is a cup fungi? Well, I put a picture on here for you. It literally looks like a cup. Okay, so it's down here. Now, the cup fungi, what they did is they took a really thin slice. So we're going to look for, there's long skinny cells and they have little dots. Those are the spores. So that's what you're going to try to find and draw on your picture here. Okay, so if you forget what you're looking for, just look at the instruction sheet. Okay, when you're done, uh, make sure you return everything back up front, okay? Only use one slide at a time, so don't come up here and take all three of them, right? Because we don't have enough for everybody to take all three of them at once. Also, not all of you are going to be able to start with dissecting scope, so you might not go in order. That's okay. You can skip around on this sheet, right? Because we only have so many dissecting scopes, and not everyone's going to be able to do it all at once, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you start with as long as you get them all done, all right? And um, please be nice to the mushrooms, all right? We only have so many mushrooms, so don't mutilate them. Um, but that's it, okay? Couple reminders when you're using the regular microscope, which is what you'll be using for all of the slides, okay? So all the slides, everything except for the mushroom, you'll be using the regular microscope. So remember, we said we always start with the shortest one on low power, okay? So we always start there. The easiest way to focus it is to move the stage all the way down, okay? So it's all the way down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in the eyepiece, okay? And we're gonna slowly move it up until it comes into focus. Remember, we use the big knob on low power, okay? When we move it to medium, we can only move it to medium once we get it focused, okay? So when we move it to medium, we can only use the fine focus, the small knob, okay? So we're gonna move it around, see if we can get it focused, and only when we get it focused can we move it to high. And again, on high, we can only use the small knob, okay? Because remember, if we use the big knob on high or medium, we could scratch the uh, slide and the lens on here, okay? So that's pretty much it. If you have trouble finding um, anything on your slides, ask a friend, ask the teacher, um, and we'll be more than happy to help. All right? Have a good lab.